is Michelle. I'm going to read you a story today, or at least chapter one and two, maybe three, of Junie B. Jones smells something fishy. Oh, and look, there's a fish. Ew. All right, let's start on chapter one. Okay. Okay. First of all, here is a picture of Junie B. in her classroom. All right. Okay. Chapter one is Pet Day. My name is Junie B. Jones. The B stands for Beatrice, except I don't like Beatrice. I just like B, and that's all. And guess what else? B rhymes with P, and P stands for pet. And pet reminds me of what happened at my school today. First, I was sitting at my table doing my work. Then all of a sudden, my teacher stood up and she clapped her hands real loud together. Her name is Mrs. She has another name too, but not just like Mrs. and that's all. Boys and girls, may I have your attention please, she said. I've got some very exciting news. Next week is National Pet Week, and to help celebrate our wonderful pets, Room 9 is going to have pet day. I springed up from my chair real thrilled at that news. Hooray, people, hooray, hooray, we're going to have pet day, I shouted. My feet skipped all around the room, because they wanted to spread the news, that's why. Pet day, we're gonna have pet day, Charlotte, I hollered. Pet day, we're gonna have pet day, Jamal. Pet day, we're gonna have pet day, you meanie jam I hate. Just then, Mrs. grabbed me by my spenders. Spenders is the grown up word for straps that hold your pants up. I looked around real worried. Yeah, only here's the problem, I said. If you pull off the spenders, then boom, the pants fall down. Mrs. did a frown at me. Sit down right now, she said real scary. I did a gulp. Will do, I said. Then I hurried up back to my seat real fast, and Mrs. went to the front of the room again. She told us all the rules about pet day. She said that pet day will be next Monday. And if you have a cat or a dog, you can bring in his picture. And Mrs. will hang it on the bulletin board. Please, boys and girls, no cats or dogs in school, okay, she said. The only animals you can bring to school are pets in cages. I springed up again. Whew, that was a close one, I said, because I have a dog named Tickle. And at first, I thought I could only bring in his picture, but now I'll bring him in a cage. Mrs. shook her head. No, Junie B, honey, I'm afraid you didn't understand. No dogs or cats will be allowed at school at all. Not even if you bring them in cages. I'm going to decorate a special bulletin board for all the dog and cat pictures. I hang my head real disappointed. Shoot, I said, cause a dog picture isn't even fun, that's why. Just then, my best friend named Grace waved her hand in the air. Oh, can I bring a, my big goldfish slicky, she asked. Is a fish bowl the same thing as a cage? Mrs. smiled. Yes, Grace, a goldfish will be just fine. After that, my other bestest friend named Lucille raised her hand too. Oh, teacher, guess what I'm going to bring? I'm going to bring a picture of my new pony. And also, I'm going to wear my expensive new riding outfit. That's why everyone will see how cute I am. Mrs. stared at Lucille a real long time. What a treat that will be, she said finally. Lucille poked me with her finger. I can't wait for pet day. Can you, Junie B? Just wait till you see how cute I look in my riding boots, she said. I didn't say anything back. She poked me again. Pet day is going to be so fun, don't you think, huh, Junie B? Don't you think pet day will be fun? Don't you? Don't you, huh? Just then, I leaned real close to her face. Do not poke me one more time, and I mean it. I grouched. What is so fun about bringing a dog picture? Huh, Lucille? What is so fun about that? Huh? 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 After that, I put my head on the table, and I covered up with my arms, and I didn't come out to the end of school. All the kids are excited. She's laughing. That's Grace. That's Junie B, and that's Lucille. <coughs> Alrighty. Chapter 2, The Secret About Twitter. Me and that Grace rode the bus home together. 
I did not speak to that girl. Because she kept on being happy about Slicky. And so what kind of crummy attitude is that? I walked in my house real glum. Grandma Helen Miller was babysitting my baby brother named Ollie. Uh-oh, it looks like someone had a bad day at school, she said. I raised my hand very sickish. Me, Grandma. It was me. I'm the one who had the bad day. After that, I gave her a paper from my teacher. It was the rules about pet day. Grandma Miller put Ollie in his swing. Then me and her sat on the couch, and I waited while she read that paper. Oh, dear, she said. You can't take tickle, can you? I shook my head real gloomy. Not even in a cage, I tell you. I did a sad sigh. Oh, where's the justice here, Helen? Grandma smiled very understanding. Then she gave me a hug and told me not to call her Helen again. I don't know what to tell you, sweetie, she said. Unless you get another pet before pet day, I guess you're just going to have to accept it. My eyes started to cry a teeny bit. But mother and daddy won't buy me another pet, Grandma, because I already asked for a bunny and a goat and a bat and a rat. But they keep on saying no, no, no. Grandma read the rules again. Wait a second here, she said. Why didn't I see this before? It says you can bring in a bird. I shrugged my shoulders. Yeah, so? So you can take my canary, she said. I'll let you take Twitter. I looked and looked at that woman. Then I patted her hand very polite. And I whispered a secret in her ear. Yeah, only here's the problem. I hate that dumb bird, I said. Grandma Miller looked surprised. And yes, she does. She looks very surprised. Okay. <clears throat> you hate him? You hate Twitter, she asked. I showed her my finger. He pecked me, Grandma. He pecked my finger. Remember that? And I didn't even do nothing to that guy. Grandma Miller made squinty eyes at me. You put a potato on his head, she said. I would have pecked you, too. I smiled kind of nervous. It was a hat, I said real soft. After that, me and Grandma Miller sat there kind of stiffish, and we didn't talk for lots and lots of minutes. Finally, I tapped on her. Do you have any other pets at your house, I asked. Any pets I'm not aware of? Grandma Miller laughed a little bit. Not unless we catch that crazy old raccoon that keeps breaking into our garbage can every night, she said. Then she laughed some more. And guess what? I laughed too, because that woman is a genius, I tell you.